Today, the Wisconsin Supreme Court heard oral arguments in a case that could likely alter how the state's government operates. The governor is suing the GOP caucus after it took actions to withhold pay raises to the Universities of Wisconsin System employees. Political reporter Darielle Fair has you covered on a more in-depth look into the oral arguments at that hearing today. On Wednesday, the court took up a lawsuit Governor Tony Evers filed last October, arguing legislative Republicans have continued to override his executive power as governor. The lawsuit is asking the court to determine whether a legislative committee's actions violated the provisions in the state's constitution, dealing with the separation of powers. You know, research that I looked at and the research that we did and looking at other cases around the country, I had a hard time finding a state court that did what you are asking us to do. If the Wisconsin Supreme Court rules in the governor's favor, that decision will have greater implications by altering the state's constitution and changing the rulemaking process for Wisconsin's legislative committees. A concern for multiple justices on the court pointing out that if it ruled to remove the legislature's current veto authority, the decision would prompt changes to decades of cases that were signed into law years ago. Both counsels stated they were not able to thoroughly develop the facts in their arguments. Chief Justice Annette Ziegler asking why there was a need to rush the case. So why shouldn't our court uh, hold this decision in abeyance until we can hear out all these other issues to make sure we are consistent with the way we're deciding these things? So we are sure we aren't missing something when it comes to treating all three branches the same with respect to their power and authority. The court wrapped up those oral arguments around 11 Wednesday morning, stating it plans to reconvene for its statements but did not provide a date on when that would take place. Reporting from the Capitol, Dario Fair, 27 News.